Hello everybody, welcome to the advanced tutorial for Microsoft Word, lesson number two, creating and printing labels. As you can see, I've created 24 labels for my students in my class for their Look What I Know journal notebooks. What I've done was created one label. Once I was happy with the way it looked, I copy and pasted it into the 23 remaining fields. Then I went back and simply changed the name of each student in my class. We will be using a template that will help us get the label size that we need and we're going to go onto the internet in just a minute to find that and then just like we learned in our previous tutorials we can insert an image a text box change the colors change the font the size etc to however you'd like your label to look again once you're happy we will copy and paste it into the remaining labels then we will file print and you will be good to go with your labels so we're going to go ahead onto the internet and I'm going to type in www.avery.com forward slash templates. The templates that I often use are from Staples from the Avery company. Once you're here, you can uh, look to the left of your screen and see the quick links. It will say search templates and software. If you look at your uh, label package at the bottom will be given a product number. The product number that I'll be using is 5310. And that's shipping labels for copiers 10 per sheet, and that's what I was just showing you as my sample. I'm going to click on the image, and I'm going to click Download Template. Give it a minute to download. I'm going to open it at the bottom of my screen. Okay, I'm going to click Next. I'm going to uncheck these two boxes to install toolbars. Uh, sometimes it's advertisement to try to get you to use their product. I'm going to click finish. And I'm going to exit the survey. I'm not going to take the survey right now. If you back, go back into Word, you will see that your template has um, arrived on your screen. Now, just a little note, if you uh, click download uh, the template for the first time, and this is the first time you're using uh, the Avery templates, it will ask you for your name and it will ask you for an email. It does not ask you for a credit card. It is completely secure. It's another place for them to... Um, offer you emails and such you can click no not at this time but in order to download the template it will ask you to give your name and email address once you're here you can go ahead and start creating your label um, I'm gonna jump back to the net and I have found an image that I'm gonna be using on my label I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna paste it and if you recall um, back from the previous tutorials we have to wrap our text around the image in order for it to fit into the label. So I went to format, text wrap, in front of text, and I'm going to fit it into my label, move it around, make it as big as as small as you'd like. Once I've done that, I can go to insert, text box, and I'm going to choose a simple text box, and I'm going to shrink it down to be the size that I'd like and this automatically moves uh, comfortably within your label and I'm gonna type in the name Dylan and then I'm gonna type look what I know journal and that's the name of um, the notebook that we're gonna be using I can change the color I can change it to be anything that I'd like if I go to the home I can change the size and as you obviously as you change the size you will have to do some formatting of the box and the size. Okay, you can center it. You can change the font. I'm going to change my child's name to be red and I'm going to make the name a little bit bigger. And I'm going to bold it. I'm going to move the box around. And that simply is how I create um, a label for one of my students' notebooks. Now, in order for me to take this and move it to each uh, other field, I'm going to just highlight the entire box. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to control the picture and the box, and I'm going to right click copy, and I'm going to right click paste. Now what that's done is allowed me 
to take both images and move it into the next box. I'm going to paste again and I'm just going to move the picture and the image into each label. Now if you were just moving a text, for example, if you type the name Samuel's Journal and you wanted to copy and paste that, you can simply copy, 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 copy. Because you are copying an image and a text box, you oftentimes have to copy uh, each thing separately or you can copy it together, but you will have to paste each one individually. So now, once again, I'll review that. If you control and you hold down the picture and the text box, it will allow you to right-click copy and right-click paste. And now you have copied both the image and the box together. You can move it where you'd like on your label and you can paste again and move the entire image and box to where you'd like. And now you can go back and change the name on each label. Once you're finished, you can save your labels. You can go to File, Print. Be sure that your labels are facing down um, in, depending on what kind of copier you have. If it's a home copier, um, you know, you face them down, it will feed up through correctly. If you're using a school copier or a school printer, um, you know, sometimes you have to put the labels facing up. My recommendation is if you are not sure, you can, um, one of your options is to, in settings, to go to print current page. That way, if you have a set of 50 pages of labels and you don't want to waste 50 pages of labels, of course, you can print just this page to make sure your image and your text box are uh, fitted correctly on the label, they look the way you'd like, and then if you're comfortable, you can then go ahead back and print all pages and it will print for you. Please create a label that would be useful in your classroom. It could be a label for class trip money. It could be a label for a student's notebook. It really has, you have a multitude of uh, possibilities for labels. But um, upload a sample to our Google site, Filing Cabinet, and I hope that you found this website um, useful, and I look forward to seeing you at our next tutorial. Thanks. Bye-bye.